Hi everyone, my name is Zoe Tessier. I'm an instructor at Art Students League. I teach drawing and painting, digital photography, digital illustration through Photoshop, and then I'm also a high school art teacher where I teach ceramics and drawing and painting and photography. And today I wanted to teach you how to make a digital holiday card since we are going into the holidays uh, through Photoshop. So it's such an amazing platform that we have to use with Photoshop. If you are not set up with Photoshop, you can do this lesson by just signing into Creative Cloud Suite or Adobe Creative Cloud, and you can do a seven day free trial with them. If you love this lesson and you decide to do more Photoshop, I know that you can purchase the program for $9.99 a month and learn more about Photoshop. I'll also be doing more digital illustration classes and digital photography where we use Photoshop as our Lightroom or Darkroom. So if you, you know, again, want to learn more about Photoshop after doing this lesson, you can always join us through Art Students League and uh, join me with more advanced lessons. So I'm going to share my screen with you. So you can just see step by step of how to make a card. So it is great if you uh, want to make, I know a lot of people love taking photos of their family for holiday cards. Um, I have a leaf picture here that's great if you just want to send out like a little fall holiday hello to friends and family. You can also take these photos on your phone. We are so lucky these days with our digital media. Um, I have an iPhone here. And if you just go to your camera, you can just take an awesome picture for your card. The way that I actually get my pictures onto my desktop is I'll just email them to myself. Or if you have the Google Drive app on your phone, you can also share it to your Google Drive app and grab images that way that's also shared on your computer. So again, uh, take a picture with your phone of your family for your card or any subject matter that you want. And again, you can email it to yourself. But our very first step here is we want our images to be on our desktop because it's the easiest way for us to drag and drop it onto Photoshop. Okay. So I have my Photoshop right down here on the bottom. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up and I'm gonna hit create new. So I'm creating a new canvas. You can make your size paper any size that you want. Just remember, if you are printing these at home, you can use your standard paper size, eight by 10, but if you are sending it maybe to a printing company, um, just, just have that in mind. So if you're creating a really huge card, um, this is where we're gonna put in our sizes. So, you know, think of like a standard envelope of when we fold it, of what it's gonna fit into. So I'm just gonna start with an eight by 10 since it's normal printing paper for everybody. So eight, and make sure that it's not under pixels, it's under inches. If you're under pixels, when you create your, um, when you create your canvas size, when you actually hit create, it's gonna show up really, really small and that just means that you are in pixels. So always make sure that you're under inches for this. So I'm gonna make sure it's an eight by 10. You can always change the orientation. So if you want it kind of this long horizontal way, 
it's going to automatically change your width and your height. Okay. I always have my resolution set to 150. If you set it to 300, it's really, really large to open, but some printing companies love for you to use a 300 resolution just so your image isn't pixelated. But since we are working pretty small, we're just making a holiday card, we're gonna keep it to 150 inches. Okay. And then we're just gonna go ahead and hit create. So here we have our nice canvas that we're gonna be working on. Just think of it in the way that you're gonna fold it. So if I'm gonna create my card, kind of a long vertical card, okay? So I actually have a card here. So if you're gonna open up your card this way, then keep your card this way, or think about if you're gonna open your card this way, right? Okay, so I'm gonna start adding some content onto my canvas card, and I'm just gonna add a background color. So instead of just working on the one background layer, I'm actually gonna create a new layer just in case I don't like what I've just created. So on the top of your toolbar, you're gonna hit, you're gonna see a bunch of different things for Photoshop. I'm just gonna hit the layer tab, and I'm gonna go down and just hit new layer. Okay. You can title it if you want. Some people just use layer one, layer two, layer three. I'm gonna just keep it layer one, and I'm just gonna hit okay. So on the right-hand corner of your Photoshop, you're gonna see all your layers. And I'm gonna go ahead and just drop in a color for my kind of holiday theme card. So I'm gonna go with kind of an autumn color scheme. So over on the right-hand side, you either have color or you have swatches. If you don't see this, make sure that your setting, you can, I'm under essentials, so you can always hit reset essentials and you should be able to see colors and swatches. So just make sure if you don't see any of that, um, just reset and go under your essentials, okay? So some people just like to go to swatches and see the variety of color that they already give you. So since I'm going with a holiday sort of theme, I'm just gonna go under kind of this, I kind of like this um, burnt umber color. Okay, so I'm just using my little eyedropper in this color scheme. And then if I go to color, it's gonna actually blow up that one color and give me all the values within that color. So I kind of like maybe a lighter gold, so all you have to do is click to the color that you like, and you can see the colors changing in this top right-hand square. Okay. You can always change this, so don't feel like this is set in stone, but I kind of like this lighter orangish umber gold color for my background. And then I'm gonna go over here to my left-hand side, and I have a ton of different icons on the left. Okay. So I'm gonna use the paint bucket tool to drop in and just fill all the color in. If you don't see this little paint bucket tool, I use two fingers. I'm on a MacBook um, laptop, and so I can click over that icon and I can see three different tools. I can use a gradient tool, a paint bucket tool, or this 3D material drop tool. It's totally up to you. You can play around with different tools, but I'm just going to make sure I see the paint bucket tool. So again, if you don't see this, you just have to click on the icon. So maybe you only see the gradient tool. Click on that little icon and make sure you get the drop down box of the paint bucket. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and click 
on the canvas with my paint bucket. I can click it. Uh, I can actually change the opacity so it doesn't release as much color. Okay, so if I hit edit undo, Okay, so I'm gonna have to actually just do that again. Um, so I'm just gonna take out that layer. So I'm just gonna click on the little eyeball. I haven't permanently deleted the layer, but I'm just taking it away without it. I just wanna show you what it looks like with a gradient paint bucket dose of the opacity of 38%. So I'm just gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna take out this other layer. So my opacity is set at 38%. So the last time when we got like this really, really um, fully pigmented color of that orange, it was because it was set at 100%. So now I'm just gonna show you what it looks like at a 38%. So as you can see, it's not um, as a dark of this orangish color as layer one. And if I click it more than once, it's just gonna start to add a couple more layers of that color paint. Okay, so that's the third time I've clicked it. And maybe I like that tone and I'm happy and I'm set with that. So I just wanted to give you two different options. Do not get overwhelmed with Photoshop. There are so many tricks and tools with Photoshop that I'm showing you just very basic tools but it's perfect for just learning how to make a card or your own design for a flyer or something. So I'm just gonna add my background layer here. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just drag and drop the image that I wanna use on top of the card. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move my Photoshop screen over. And I'm just gonna drag and drop the image that I like on top of the card. Okay. When you do this, you're gonna get a big blue X on top. And this is just giving you the option to kind of resize your image. So if I am folding it, you know, let's say um, this way. Okay, so the image is on the front, folding it in half. Just place it however you think it's gonna be printed. So I'm gonna go ahead and this will be my front. Okay, and we'll fold it down at this point. So I even need to shrink it down just a tiny bit more. Okay. And to place that image, I'm just gonna hit enter on my keyboard. So now we kind of have a border around it. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of crop that border down. If you wanna use the border to write in um, Happy Fall, you can, it's totally your option. I'm gonna use the crop tool up here. And I'm just gonna shrink the image down. And then to make that place, again, I'm just gonna hit enter or return on my keyboard. You can also hit this cursor button up on the top left-hand corner of your tools, or you can always hit this little check mark and that's just gonna apply that crop tool. So if you wanna shrink your image down even more, if that seems like maybe it's taking up too much of that fold, you can always resize your image by just saying edit, free transform, and it will put that little blue box back on there. So you can size it down just a little bit. So maybe I do want just a tiny bit of a border. Maybe I wanna size it down enough that I can say um, happy fall or whatever it is that you'd like to say on it. So I have a little bit of a border and I'm gonna place it. 
So I'm gonna just zoom in on the image just a little bit so I can go ahead and just focus in on the areas that I want. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add in font to say happy fall. Some of you might wanna make your holiday cards, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, whatever it is you wanna do. So I'm just gonna use my text tool. Again, if you use two fingers on your screen, you have, or like as your mouse, you have four different options with whatever kind of font tool you wanna use. I'm gonna use this basic horizontal type tool. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click down where I wanna start my words. For whatever reason, this font kind of pops up and you can just delete it. Um, I'm just clicking on it and just deleting it on my screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into choosing a nice color for the font. So again, you can go back to your swatches. And maybe you just wanna use a red tone. You're gonna to see the color of your font show up in this top box. You can also, if you really love a color, maybe in your photograph that you're using, you can use your eyedropper tool. Okay, so it's over here on your left hand side with your tools. And you can click on whatever color that is that you like to use. So it's gonna save your color over here next to your swatches. It's also gonna change in your colors over here. So I'm gonna keep dropping in with my eyedropper color and you're gonna see over on the right hand side, your color is gonna change to the color that you maybe wanna use in your photograph. Okay. So maybe I'm gonna use kind of this red, dark red tone. And then I'm gonna go back to my text tool. Okay, it's gonna show up as this bright red once I start typing. And you can go ahead and choose all of your different fonts by just clicking this drop down box. And it's kind of like Word in Google Drive or your Word doc. So I'm just going to find a pretty font. And again, we can always change this. So I'm going to type in happy fall. We'll just start with that. Okay. All right. So for me to kind of play around with this and move it around, I'm just going to use my top cursor and I can move it over. I can also enlarge it by doing that edit, free transform. That's gonna put that box back around it so you can make it bigger. You can make it a little longer if you want. shrink it down a little bit so it doesn't go into my image and then I'm just gonna hit place if you're happy with it another thing that you can do is you can hit this little square gridded box with a little frown on it and that's gonna give you a bunch of different options to change your font size as well so I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to just zoom out a little bit. All right. So let's say you want to actually bring your wording into your photograph. So I'm going to go ahead and just bring my wording. Maybe I'm going to put it down here. Okay. So sometimes with our wording, it will get a little bit lost in our image. So I'm gonna create kind of a halo effect behind the words 
so that they pop out and they're really clear to my viewer. So I'm gonna zoom back in. I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna title it Glow because I want it to look like it's glowing behind the letters. And I'm actually just gonna drag, so I'm over on the right hand, bottom right hand side of Photoshop here. I'm just dragging and dropping this layer underneath the Happy Fall letters so that I get kind of a color tone right behind the letters so that it makes those letters pop forward. So I'm gonna choose a tone that I wanna use. So I'm gonna use my eyedropper again. And I, I do like this yellow tone. So if I drop my color dropper in that tone that I wanna use on the card, it's gonna show up again up here on the color swatches. And then I'm just gonna paint behind it. So this is gonna give you the mixed brush tool. You can choose the size of your brush by just zooming up or down. You can also type in what size you want. So maybe you love, you know, this 12 size font. You can do that as well. So that 12 is gonna be really teeny tiny. I'm kind of hovering it over here on the left hand border next to this leaf. So that's a little too small. I want it to be a little bit bigger. Okay, so that's nice and big. You can play with different types of uh, brush tools in here. So it's just, it's really awesome to just kind of play around with Photoshop. Um, so I'm gonna go back to this brush tool and I don't want my opacity to be very strong. So I'm gonna bring it down. I'm also gonna bring down my flow quite a bit too. And I'm just gonna test it out. Okay, so it's kind of coming out as like this pattern texture and it's it's kind of making barely an impact on the canvas because my opacity and my flow are set so low. So if you want a, a stronger color coming out even faster, make your opacity 100%, your flow 100%, and it's gonna come out really immediately. So again, it's just whatever sort of effect you want. And I just switched mine to my pencil tool because I wanna kind of get this like highlighter look to it. So I'm just going right around the letters. And as you can see, it's not covering up the letters. It's right behind those letters because the layer, right over here on our right hand side, the layer is underneath that text layer. So I'm just doing little baby circles right around. Just doing a little halo effect. Okay. If you wanna blur it just a little bit or smudge it kind of like you'd smudge a soft pastel. There's this little tool on the left hand side, which is a little finger. If you use two fingers on there again, you have the blur tool, the sharpen tool, or the smudge tool. So I'm just gonna use the smudge tool and I'm just gonna feather it out just a little bit. So it's just kind of a fun way to make a quick card and you're not paying, you know, some graphic designer to do this for you. It can be all custom made just by you. And as you can see, 
this card would fold down just like this. So right now it's open, like my demo here. So when you get it printed, you can have it just folded down like so. And it can just be printed on your regular eight by 10 printing paper at home, your color printer. And you can create your own envelope or maybe you go buy some envelopes and send your card that way. So the way I'm gonna save this so that I can print it, your printer probably won't recognize a Photoshop file. So save it as a JPEG. So I'm gonna do file, save as, I'm gonna save it as my fall card. You go under format, save it as a JPEG, and you just hit save. Remember where you save it. Sometimes I don't recognize that it's saved under downloads. You have to save it under your desktop or wherever you can find it. I'm just gonna hit okay with the quality here. And let's just make sure it is right here on my desktop. And then you can go ahead and just close out of your Photoshop. So there is your fall card. I hope that was a fun lesson for you. Again, if you like what you're seeing, you can go ahead and join us with Art Students League in learning more illustration or photo techniques through my lessons through Photoshop. So I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy making your cards and have a wonderful fall.